This review has been made possible by Toyota of Naperville. As you know, Toyota has tons of brand new Toyotas available for purchase, but did you know that they also have a remarkable selection of used cars? Head on over to toyotaofnaperville.com and look through hundreds of used cars for sale right now. Alright, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 2018 Ram Promaster 1500 high roof. Up front is a 3.6 liter V6 and down below is a 6 speed automatic transmission. Now I am super excited to be driving this here Promaster for a couple of reasons, but mainly the fact that this is a utility vehicle. And so with a vehicle like this, there normally aren't many biases. I don't think many kids grew up with Ram Promaster posters on their wall. And so this is going to be a straightforward review of something that you might buy for your business. You might buy to convert into a camper van or anything else like that. So this is purely consumer advice. And I'm always excited to share that with you today. But before we get on to anything else, I have a website, ZachPradle.com, where you can buy stickers like this retro sticker pack or big friggin' bottle sticker, both with free shipping. You could also submit your own vehicle to be reviewed by me through a quick and easy submission form. And you could read my behind the scenes blog to see what I'm filming before it comes out on the channel. But let's get back to that 3.6 liter V6 under the hood. Well, it makes about 276 horsepower, which isn't anything crazy. This isn't going to be a speed demon. However, one benefit of this engine is that Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, Ram have used this engine for a long, long time. I just drove a Chrysler 200 with this engine not too long ago. And while they're not the most reliable engine ever made, parts availability is going to be easy because they put it into everything. You see those Jeep Wranglers that have been around forever? They have the same engine. Those base model Chargers and Challengers, same engine. So that is a nice benefit of it. Like I said, paired to its six speed automatic, that is also another benefit because it is not the nine speed that FCA is now using and everything. And actually the 2022 Ram ProMaster uses the nine speed automatic as opposed to this here six. The six speed is at least a little bit stronger of a transmission, but I just like the overall feeling of the six speed better than the nine. The nine was always shifting and I've never really heard good things about FCA's nine speed automatic. So the fact that this has a six speed is pretty appealing to me. Now you are going to take a little bit hit with gas mileage, but that's a hit I'm willing to take. Last but not least, these are front wheel drive, which I always found interesting. If you look at the back, you can see the torsion beam going across the back because the rear wheels don't get any power. Kind of looks a little silly at times, but hey, just a little quirk of the Ram ProMaster. With that out of the way, let's talk about the interior. Well, in front of me, I have a bunch of physical gauges that are rather boring. On the left, I have my speed. On the right is my tachometer. And in the center, I do get a one color digital screen as well as my fuel and coolant temperature. I can shuffle through a couple menu items here in that little screen if I'd like. Not anything crazy, but at least I get something. On the steering wheel on the left, I have my volume mute and voice commands and on the right i have my phone options as well as i do get a nice ram badge right in the center i don't drive many ram products these days so it's nice to see that logo front and center off to the left i do have my mode button and selectors for that screen in the gauge cluster we just talked about as well as a fan button and my climate control vent and on the door i have my power mirror options power windows and my locks Moving into the center, I do have a clipboard, which is very nice to have up on the dash. Very nice for fleet vehicles. And then I do get a little radio screen. This is very fleet, very base model, very uninteresting. However, I do get a backup camera. So per the government mandate in 2018, all vehicles are required to have a backup camera. This one, of course, has it to comply. However, it's not very clear and it's kind of a weird angle. It's more down than out. So I wish it would have had a little bit more of a fisheye so I could see more oncoming traffic when backing up. But it has a backup camera and I'm not going to complain. Below that, I do have my climate controls. Very simple here. Fan speed off to the left, temperature in the center, 
and where to send it off to the right. As well as down below that, I do have my traction control off, hazard switch, and central locking. Off to the right of that, I do have a cup holder. However, we'll test the bigger cup holders for the big friggin' bottle test in a second, but I do also get two 12 volt outlets. One only works when the vehicle has its ignition on, and the other is actually a USB. Moving down the center console, this is where we do have cup holders so we will do a big friggin bottle test here in the ram pro master 1500 and with some persuasion the big friggin bottle fits so snug but it does in fact pass so the 2018 ram pro master and i assume other pro masters do in fact pass the big friggin bottle test <laughs> I don't get an official center console past those cup holders. However, interestingly enough, I do want to talk about the seats. It has a bench seat. I was not expecting this out of the Ram Pro Master. Now you can configure it different ways. The seats themselves are not very comfortable. I was reading some other reviews online and people said that these are not comfortable. These are commonly used, at least in my area, for Amazon Prime trucks. And so you're getting in and out all the time. You're not really spending much time sitting there. But if you do plan on doing an extended road trip in one of these, you might want to swap out the seats or find something cushionier or maybe buy one of those aftermarket covers because they are pretty hard and basic. Speaking of seats, we do not have any back seats. However, you could option a ProMaster with back seats as more of a shuttle bus but we do have some rear cargo space so let's hop around back and talk about that all right so around the back of the ram pro master let's talk cargo space that's the big deal with these so one door here and then i have this second latch here pull that and open that up let's open these doors all the way come over here grab this all the way so the reason I want to show that is I know a lot of people build camper vans. It's a very hot thing to do in the 2020s right now. And so if you want to put shelving or racks for like wetsuits or anything else you want to hang, the doors open very, very wide, which is very, very nice. If you even wanted to hook up a little water source to an outdoor shower and you could have the shower right here, that's actually not a bad idea. But the actual back of the van, something to note here is that this is the high roof edition. So I don't have any grab handles, so getting in here is kind of awkward. Ugh. So with the high roof, you get a couple extra inches. This is where the roof would normally end for a normal one. So you get, you know, that much extra space. You have a little shelf up here. If you're building a camper van, this is 100% the way to go. Just because I would not be able to physically stand in here if it weren't for this high roof, which is fantastic. So if you're doing a camper van, do the high roof, seriously. Even if you're making deliveries, I would recommend the high roof. Plus it looks better. There's a non-high roof across the parking lot. I'll try to get a shot of it with my little spy camera. It looks weird. So I actually prefer the high roof. This is a huge, huge benefit of this particular Ram Pro Master. Now, obviously I don't have a pass through. I do have a door. This is a sliding door which is fantastic as well. Look at how wide that is. Really, really good stuff here. But again, I just, I can't recommend the high top enough or the high roof enough. This is fantastic. And like I said, this is where the roof would normally end. So I would not be able to stand up in here, which I quite like doing. These shelves are obviously not factory. These were put in by a previous owner for whatever job they were doing. Oh, that's kind of cool. So you swing that up. And then you can open your drawers, but when you swing it closed, and get splinters apparently, they don't rattle and open when you take a corner. That's pretty cool. Anyway, that's not factory, but really, really great space back here. If you're building a camper van, this is tons and tons of room. Now we gotta talk about the looks and I am not really a fan of how this van looks. I think the front end is not great. I think the rear end is pretty nondescript. It's a work van. It's not supposed to be anything pretty. It's not going to win any design awards. And sure, they made it look like a Ram product by giving it that grill up front, but not much beyond that. I will say, I don't know what is neurologically wrong with me, but whenever I see this vehicle, I think of Spider-Man, uh, more accurately, the old Spider-Man video games for the PlayStation. I mean, like the way old ones where they didn't even animate the ground. It was just like this acidic mist. I don't know why. I don't know what is wrong with me, but whenever I look at the front end of this vehicle, 
I think of Spider-Man. I should probably seek some form of therapy. But now, let's get on to my final thoughts. What do I think driving the Ram ProMaster 1500? Is this the right choice for you and your business, you and your camper trips, or any other reason you might wanna buy a panel van? Well, in my honest, humble opinion, not really. The thing that scares me about this is the reliability. Online, I'll cite the source here, I found that average users and owners of the Ram Pro Master gave it a two out of five stars for reliability. And unfortunately, that's pretty on par with a lot of FCA's products. Like I said, I just drove that Chrysler 200 and it had a mysterious check engine light that would come on every once in a while and stumped the dealership. They didn't even know what was wrong with it. I've driven some of the newer Fiat products. They're not good. And so while I'm sure that the reliability of this van isn't completely on the floor because Amazon uses them, my local postal delivery uses them, I feel like the Ford Transit is at least a little bit better. Now, I haven't driven a full-size Transit, and I would definitely like to, but I have driven the smaller Transit Connect, and I've driven the smaller ProMaster City. And out of those two, the Transit Connect was way better. And I have to imagine it's that same story here for the full-size 1500 units. If you're in need of a utility vehicle for your business and there's a Ram ProMaster available, sure, go for it. But if you're planning to build a camper van that you're gonna keep for a long time, drive it across the country multiple times, I highly recommend seeking out another van. Unfortunately, I wanted to like the ramp. I will say one positive is the frontward visibility. The front windshield and the side windows are gigantic. They are huge. And so front visibility, you do have this higher up seating position. You kind of look up and over the front end as opposed to through the front end. I grew up driving a Ram 1500 pickup truck. It holds a special place in my heart, but driving this, I don't know, I feel like a stick in the mud. And today's even a Friday. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Huge thank you to Toyota of Naperville for letting me take out their Ram Pro Master 1500. I always like driving these because I know they get such utilitarian purposes out of them. Toyota of Naperville is fantastic. They not only have this on the lot, they have tons of other cool and interesting used vehicles. We've been working together for years. They've been fabulous to work with, and I'm excited to review more cars from them. So please go check them out at the information up on the screen or found in the description below. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys.